Back with Don Rickles, here's Teal on the toll-free in Riverdale, New York. Hi, Teal, you're on the air. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Mr. Rickles. How are Hi, you Dick. tonight? Hi, Teal. Um, I understand you've visited the White House several times. Um, what is your favorite memory about that? Well, I think uh, the White House itself was with uh, George and Barbara Bush. Uh, mm -hmm. The president was wonderful to me. I was there with Ronald Reagan, and I uh, had that pleasure. And, uh, and then I did the inaugural with Sinatra for Ronald Reagan, which was wonderful. But uh, at the White House itself, uh, I was, they invited me to be for, uh, for the Israeli embassy mm -hmm. to come to a dinner. But unfortunately, uh, we couldn't make it at that time. So I wound up with the, uh, with the uh, Tunisia delegation, and they all came with sheets and rifles. <laughs> 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 and like a dumbbell, I wore my armband. Oh, so, uh, so it was kind of hectic. But uh, that was an exciting time, and I leaned over to Mrs. Bush and said, I think I could get knocked off. She said, what do you think of this? I said, well, there's one guy staring at me. Anyway, so it was fun, though. It was a great treat to be at the White House. And all the guys next to me kept going, Boom. as they were laying there on the floor. They threw sand on the floor so they'd relax. Uh -huh. He liked it a lot, Teal. Oh, I'm sure he did. We've actually met. Really? Mr. Rickles and I. Yes, <laughs> in cool Atlantic that I, City. I have a family. <laughs> you asked me what my name was. Uh, you were on stage one night. Oh, and, really? Uh, you said that uh, my parents must have wanted to make me feel miserable the rest of my life and give me a weird name. It was very funny. <laughs> yes, thank very you, Teal. Funny. And yeah. I, I enjoyed you very much. And, thank you. Tom, we're going to miss you a whole lot. Thanks, Teal. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, bye-bye bye now. Be, be in touch. I've never asked you about the time that you worked, uh, w you were studying at the American Academy for Dramatic Arts, right. and you were there with some rather notable names. You studied with Anne Bancroft, yeah. Yeah, and you studied with, uh, with uh, Jason Robards, yeah. Grace Kelly. Did you want to be a serious actor? Tom Poston, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, uh, you know, I thought my, my mother, again, she was a great woman. She was a big, I, I said this to you before, she was a Jewish patent. Mm -hmm. And she got up in the morning with a helmet and boom, with a whip, and, she kept me going. She really... Don? And she said, you know, Don, it would be good to have that kind of background. And Don Rickles, with my image, I went to the American Academy and you had to audition. And I was very fortunate to be accepted. I was, I was delighted. And I spent two years there and I learned a great deal. Uh, well, when you were there, they, they, they did things, which is my favorite thing. They said, today, you're a tree in the wind, which is one of my favorite things to do. <laughs> and I would just stand. And we used to go to the Carnegie Bar across the street and have a couple of vodkas before we did that class. And so when I came in, I was going, ooh, I'm a tree. Ooh, and I'd start spitting up leaves. You know. And I was an idiot. Were you a fast ad liver and a, you know, a, a guy fast with it? With, with, you know what? The way we're leaning on, I think the two of us are in the bathroom. No, 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 but you know what I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Were, were you glib then? Was it hard for you to keep your mouth shut in the acting classes? Were you impatient with it a little bit? No, no, quite the contrary. I was scared to death, oh, yeah? and I wanted to do well. And I used to be a kind of an actor that they say ate the scenery. When they said roll them, like uh, even in Casino, when we did Casino, Robert mm -hmm. De Niro would say, I don't know where's the gun, do we get the gun? Get... I said, the gun's over here! Yeah. yeah. Everybody left. Because I was always overpowering. Yeah. And Scorsese was great, of course, and they always kept me in control. But I always had that, that's from the stage, from being a stand-up, always with that power, you know? Mm -hmm. So uh, when I was in the, it was in the academy, they kept saying, oh boy, the guy's gonna eat the scenery. Which I never really did. But they were on top of me all the time. And it was a great, hey, it's good to have a background. Oh, no question, no question. And that was a great I just wonder if you, if you, because I know that when you're on stage, not that you're impatient, but you move quickly from one subject to the next. And I wonder if the discipline of, of, of stage work or movie work would be tough for you. Because you're always going 100 miles ahead of the crowd. Well, when you do movies, it's, it's apples and oranges. And, you know, it's, yeah. it's a whole different ball game. But still, that, that stage training and that American Academy background did me did me good, did me very good uh, in my career. It, it was a big help. What about when you worked with Donald Sutherland? It was, what was it, Kelly's Heroes? Kelly's Heroes. It's become a cult uh, a picture yeah, now. Yeah, it is. Clint Eastwood. Eastwood. Nick at Eastwood. night and run at Quentin. Eastwood was in that picture? Yeah, yeah Clint Eastwood, yeah, who I carried. And, uh... <laughs> Kelly Savalas, yeah, you're Kelly. Kelly, Kelly, he was, oh, what he a was a special guy. Yeah. Kelly, rest his soul, he was great. Loved and, to play and, games, and, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, Gamblers, he, yeah, he always had the cape, and he was always with the broads. Yeah. So, got your telly, that's nice. And Clint was great. You know, Clint's idea of a tip was a picture of himself. <laughs> and, uh, uh, he said, do you, do you want it good luck, Clint, or just... But he, he was great. And I said, I want to live the way... When I went there, I'll never forget it. We went over to Yugoslavia, my wife and I, and my, my daughter, Mindy, who now is going to have the baby. Mm -hmm. Little Grandpa, baby. Grandpa Don. Little, little, little tiny thing. And we went over and he said, uh, 
They said, what do you want, Don? I said, well, to Jim, I said, I'd like to live the way Clint Eastwood lives. He's the star of the movie. That I know Clint Eastwood to him, heaven is a pickup truck and a dog. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. With a, with a hunting rifle and, yeah. you know, see? Yeah, a couple and of we, shovels. We lived, we lived in, a, in, in a shack. I had, a, I had a move. I said, what is this? Clint said, isn't this great? Look, look what I got. And he had like a, like a closet with, uh, with dead beaver on the wall, you know. Yeah. To him, that's heaven, you know. But he didn't, have a, he didn't have a worry in those days. He was, he was Mr. Dynamite, you know. All the women looked at him. He was mm -hmm. happily married at the time. And now you know his career. He's, he's a commuter. Yeah, in a shambles, as it yeah. were. Yeah, he runs from one altar to the other. You know, the last time uh, that George Siegel was here, a couple of weeks ago, mm -hmm. he was so thrilled. He was great. He, he was so thrilled that he, he and uh, Richard Benjamin had come to see your show yeah. and then, I guess, visited you in the dressing room right. afterwards. And I thought the show, well, he was on the show here. I thought he was going to talk about it. Yeah, so did I. He forgot about it. He just, no, 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 he passed it's it. over. Yeah. Yeah, take a cab. Yeah. We don't need Richard yeah, anymore. Just, he just passed well, it. Yeah. Got him comp, boom, in a dressing room, like an equal. Uh -huh. Treated him and Dick great. Never mentioned it to you. Boom. Just I was up there, boom. Then he went on with his career. With his banjo and who cares? Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where's he going? You know what I mean? There's a riverboat. I think he could get hot again. <laughs> you, you, told, you told me earlier, and we all know, you got married late in life. 38, 39 years 30, old. Yeah. Uh, did you... Uh, Put the covers over my head a lot alone at night. Well, no, I was going to say, you know, Letterman used a line the other night with uh, Warren Beatty that Beatty gave a whole new meaning to the word single. <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how were you single? Were you active with the ladies? Did you, no, I, you know, they all felt sorry for me. I was, certainly wasn't a lover. Look at me. I was never a lover. Yeah, I understand. But, but, but there's, such a thing as, there's, such, there's such a thing as mercy, you know? <laughs> I didn't need that. Okay. <laughs> we were doing fine until you opened up that Irish mouth with the mercy thing. <laughs> and that's the kick. You're going to pay for that, too. But I got to tell you, I know I was, I was the kind of guy, even as a young man, when I was a young man, women were afraid of me. I mean, girls, even I mean, right out of high school and then on to when I was a serviceman, when I was in the Navy as a young sailor, they were all afraid because I was always doing the jokes. They mm -hmm. said, we make love with this guy. He's going to, you yeah, know, yeah, get on the speaker. Make a joke. Oh, I, he did it, you know. And I, and I really just, for my insecurities, that's what kept me going, yeah. to be the class clown, so to speak. Yeah. Even in, in the American Academy, even in movies or wherever I work, I always think there's, there's a good time to throw in a few laughs. I mean, yeah. you know. And so that's what I did. So women used to step back. But I always, I always on the road, I always worked with the singer. And somehow the singer and I always worked something out that I would do a tune at their place, <laughs> and then they would do a tune at mine. Gotcha. And then we... <laughs> Make it harmony night. <laughs> <laughs> My best to your family, sir. Thank you very uh, much. I, I hope that your grandchild is a joy to you, and I hope to see you oh, again when the, when the Joan Rivers tour is underway. The Joan Rivers. The, jo right. the Joan Rivers, Don, uh, Don Rickles, Joan Rivers, right. Victory or Tour. Joan Rivers, Don Rickles, no matter. Yeah, the Victory Tour, as it's called. Right. Don uh, can be seen in uh, Dirty Work starting on June the 5th. Don appears by himself as a major star <laughs> at Harrah's in Reno, May 21st to 24th. And then the Victory Tour with, Victory Joan, Rivers, tour with, Joan, with Joan Rivers. Rivers through. And then on the side, I visit Bob Newhart's house and tell him how great he is. That, that's correct. Just to relax. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Next, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the scandal that rocked the FBI in, in Boston after these messages.